Hello friends, hope you all are doing good and I hope you all are enjoying the videos regarding the research process or writing the research proposal and article. So today we are going to discuss about the different search tools which we can use in order to retrieve the information from the different search engine or subject directories or search directories you can say. So I am ready with my the board where I have uh, written uh, means free information in order to uh, explain. So uh, we all are aware about the internet. Uh, if we explain in detail, we come to know that internet is known as network of networks where billions of websites are linked with each other through internet. I mean to say that if you use any search engine and when you just throw any keyword in search database so it will pull the information from other search database or from other website or it will provide you some output and we call it as a search engine means uh, the platform where we search the information generally we use uh, search engine and we try to get the information relevant to our study or our research process so I am ready with uh, the the information which I will be dealing mainly about the search tool. Yesterday uh, we have discussed about the different search strategies but where those strategies to be followed or to be applied. This is very important. So I am going to define what is the internet search engine. Straight away I am just going to define what is the internet search engine. As I said that internet is known as network of networks. It means billions of websites are related to each other and this particular search engine or the platform is used to find information on other sites. As I already uh, means mentioned that when, whenever we need any information on any particular idea or any particular inf uh, means keyword. So when we throw our keyword into search database or search engine it collects the information from other website and it lists in your uh, search platform so how does it work it perform it search the selected piece of information on important words for example yesterday we have uh, seen it while discussing about the search strategies in that we saw that if i have to search library automation so i will use some search strategy and i will just throw my words so what it will do it will go to the particular database and try to pull the information selected piece of information based on my words the second it performs it keep an index of words they find and where the, they find them the most important part is that where they find them when we throw the keep means word or we, we when we throw that particular term where uh, we expect the information from the search database so in that case what it does the search engine index uh, the words whatever they find uh, from the different sites and it allows user to look for combination of words found in index when it does indexing of the words after collecting the information from the different website it allows so I am a user I am searching for something so I get information and I get the combination of words which is already indexed here so I get some sort of information or relevant information based on my keywords which I provided to the search database or search engine so basically there are two basic approach to search the first one is the search engine so we will be talking first about the search engine and the second approach is the subject directories. We will be talking in detail about the subject directory and search engine one by one. So first I am going to talk about the search engine. The search engine basically it is employed or when search engine employs the software robots. Uh, the software which is used in search engine when it is employed that is known as a robot and why it is it is used to build the list of words on the site and we call it as a spider we call it as a spider so i mean to say that the search engine when imply the software that robot software to build the list of words on the site this problem this is known as a 
spider and the process of list building the process of list building we know it as a web crawling we try to get the information with this way so it works in this way the software robot is implied implied and this to build the list of words and it is known as a spider and the process for listing the words or uh, list building is known as a web crawling so what happens what are the factors that that influence the results the basic point is that what are the factors which influence the result the first the first one is the size of database see there are thousands of search engine thousands of website where we can uh, means throw keywords and it will give the result based on our uh, input which we provide to the search database or search engine but it depends on the database if we talk about google it has a very vast uh, you can say area of information but if we go further there are some meta search engine which combines more than two or two three uh, search engines together and when we throw the keyword what it does it collects information from each search engine and throws the information so it depends that what is the size of database so the factor which is which influences the result depends first on the size of database what is the size of database and based on that we get the result the second point which is necessary that frequency of update for example if i just uh, uh, make one website or i make one search engine and uh, after that i do not update anything i do not update the content so what will happen after 10 years if i search any latest keyword if i search any latest term or related to my subject or related to previous search or anything i may not be getting the exact result what i am looking for why because the uh, the updation has not been done on the search engine so what will happen it will affect your result so the factor which influence the result is frequency of update how frequently it is updated and the third point is the search capability this is also important uh, yesterday uh, when we were talking about the search strategies we use some search strategies like boolean logic boolean operator truncation phrase searching nested uh, uh, means uh, uh, there were proximity so what what we did that we use all those uh, truncation boolean operator to restrict our search to fetch the information from the database exactly what we are looking for but it depends on the different search engine whatever the search strategies we discuss it may not be applicable or it may not work in all search engine so we have to be very very careful while choosing the search search engine to get the information we have to know that what is the power of this search engine which i am going to use for my uh, literature search or which i am going to use to get the information on my provided input so the search capability is also very very important part in order to uh, get the fruitful result so the factor these three factors mainly influence the result based on our keywords which we provide to the search engine so now i am going to show you that what are the different search engines which are available where we can find the information so these so are uh, three uh, major search engines which we are going to talk about uh, this uh, as a search tool which will uh, help to get the information on our particular keyword so let's take the example of the different search engine uh, in the first i am taking that is the altavista.com this is very very a good website in order to get the information uh, and the second one is the the excite.com slash search this is also a very good search engine which pulls the information based on our keyword and uh, obviously everybody is aware about the google.com which is very famous and nowadays we are habitual that if we try to get any information and we don't find in the offline content or we don't have so immediately go and find in the google.com 
So these are three major search engines which, uh, which can be used in order to get the information from internet. But there are also some other search engines which can be used and uh, to get the information about particular keyword. But here we can see that these uh, search engines work independently. For example, Alta Vista, Excite, Google, all these have their own platform, individual platform which throws the information based on their own databases which they have indexed of based on the words. Second, if we talk, there are also some multi-threaded search engine which is also known as the meta data search, meta search engines. So what it does, these meta search engines, they not only search the information from the one search engine, it look means try to retrieve information from other search engine also. So here I have listed the four, the important one. The first one is the meta, meta crawler, the website is the www.metacrawler.com and you can see that there are four search engines combined to this meta crawler. So if you put any information or any word in metacrawler.com so it will search information from MSN, Google, Yahoo and Ask. So we will get not only from the one database, one search engine but we'll get information from all other search engines. Similarly, there is another meta search engine that is Lycos.com. It is very, very popular and famous. It is also the combination of Gameville.com, Triplot.com and Angelfire.com and obviously Lycos.com. So it is the combination of four search engines, Lycos.com, Gameville.com, Triplot.com and Angelfire.com. So when we put any information in this, Meta search engine also provide information from the different search engine and this start page which is uh, important and very popular in retrieving the information and also includes the Wikipedia. So if you just try to get any information it will also collect the information from Wikipedia also and the website address is www.startpage.com. And the last one, there are, there are other meta search engines which are also good in nature but I have taken only four and uh, I think that for a library professional or any professional who is looking for any information, these four meta search engines will help a lot in order to retrieve the information. So the last one that is the dog pile and it is the combination of Google, Yahoo, Ask and Live. So a website dogpile.com. So these are the four meta search engines which can help to retrieve information from the internet. And the last one which I am going to talk which is a very uh, specific, we can say that subject uh, specific search engine. The first one is the search engine Colossus.com. This will provide you information related to your subject. You need to choose and accordingly you have to uh, retrieve the information. This searchengines.com, this also is the search engine, you can say the specific related to subjects. So this you can use searchengines.com in order to get information. And if you are looking for any software, so this is very very good website www.zdnet.com slash downloads. So this will provide you. Uh, the platform or the page where you can download the different software, application software for the different purposes. And if you are looking for any information related to education, so you can use this www.education-world.com. So these are the search engines which can help a lot in order to get the information from internet. Now we are going to talk about the subject directories. So let's see how the subject directories work. So subject directories basically includes a search engine for searching their own databases. And generally it is smaller uh, if you compare with search engine. So basically it includes the searching from their own database. It does not expand. And the best part is that it indexes every page of given now. 
uh, above site, whatever the site is given above site indexes and uh, smaller than search engine. So this is the important uh, part of the subject directories. Some of the examples I have mentioned here. The first one is and a very good website that is the looksmart.com. If you just go and have um, a look of this, you will find uh, many relevant information not only related to your subject but also from other domain, other subject area. And there is a open directory, the website name is or domain name is the http colon double slash dmoz.com and uh, there are some specialized subject directories which are uh, very uh, specific in nature to produce more relevant information and is more comprehensive and uh, that is the dot dash dot com I have taken only one here there are some other but I found dot dash dot com is a very uh, good website or you can say a specialized subject directory for getting the uh, means relevant information and uh, there are some other website which also fall under the subject directory and that is for visual view if you are looking for uh, information for visual view so you can browse the webbrain.com this is also a very good website which has lot of information related to any particular keyword and uh, also has the uh, benefit of visual view of the content the virtual lrc virtual lrc.com actually it indexes more than uh, 5000 quality information and which is uh, selected by librarians and teachers so uh, it includes all online full text databases full text uh, journals it has got a lot of information so if you just go and uh, browse virtuallrc.com so you will get a lot of information related to uh, your uh, the keyword or the idea information you are looking for and the last one that is the infoplease.com it includes the encyclopedia NAC, etc so it also falls under the subject di directory so these are some uh, very specific and important websites which I have mentioned so we have discussed about two that is the search engine and the second one is the search directory or you can say the subject directory so what is actually uh, what is the purpose of having this video that uh, uh, means uh, if you go and browse all these website so you will be able to search your literature effectively and also you will get lot of information related to your key or key idea or the research proposal which you have chosen and you can uh, carry out your research meaningfully so i hope this particular video will help you to understand the process of searching uh, through different uh, website uh, about your topic about your information about your keyword and uh, many more we will discuss in the next video so if